finally tonight, Pablo Picasso once said, painting is just another way of keeping a diary. Well, that's certainly true for some of Ukraine's children. Here's Roxana Saberi. A cry for help, a message of gratitude, and reflections of a world shattered. These images of war are emerging from the minds and hands of Ukrainian children. Now it's not, not the environment in which we want them to be grown, but it's the reality. The drawing helps them express their emotions. Absolutely. Yeah. After Russian troops invaded Ukraine over a month ago, Artem and Nastya Bikovits fled the capital with their two kids. <laughs> On the way, six-year-old Sonia drew what she left behind. Is that your cat? Yes. Sonia's art inspired her parents to collect drawings from other Ukrainian kids and post them online for everyone to see. Also, we know that children want to uh, have appreciation. To, to feel them like not alone, but a part of a bigger community. From age five and up, each child tells a story. Say like Maria, 11 years old, she's very talented. Arina, 11 years old, she drew a woman soldier. Yeah, sniper woman, yeah. Chrome it's her, it's her mother. Her mother is a sniper. Yeah. Some pictures show real war. Bombs, missiles. Killed soldiers. Others dream of peace, past and future. Yeah, it's created like a parallel world, you know, mm -hmm. in which you could uh, feel safe. Artem and Nastya, who are still searching for safety in town after town across Ukraine, say encouraging kids to draw can also help parents like them. Sending them to sit somewhere and turn on their fantasy and put it on the paper give to the parents also an opportunity to recharge the battery. And they hope these creations will show the world the strength and suffering of their nation. We hope that People looking on these pictures can feel compassion to support kids, to support Ukraine. Because when the war ends, they say, it's Ukraine's children who will rebuild their country. Roxana Saberi, CBS News, London.